Yo, y'all, this was Sabi7, and today I am going to play Light Blights again. Today, there's nobody else here. So it's just me, a guinea pig that's with me, and you guys. We already did that. And that. We also already did that. <laughs> okay. And what is this? Finally. Now that your family is nothing but bone, the night blights will leave to find a new home. Splendid. Night blights are a danger only children can see, and the taste of small babies it fills them with glee. When they come near, the baby shall cry. Spin the mobile swiftly, else the baby will die. If the garage door opens and breathing you hear, then surely you know that a night blight is near. Suppress the... the. Suppress the red button and keep the door shut tight. This will help keep you safe throughout the long night. A blight wants to eat your little baby brother. He will get his... If the baby begins to cry, spin the mobile above his crib. Blights are trying to come in through the garage. The garage, as I said earlier. If you hear the garage door opening, press the red button. I should probably turn it up. Okay. Breathing means blights. Indeed. I can't look all the way down. Is that a toy? It is a toy. This guy's got some mad jumps. Seriously. Okay. So, last time what happened is we got our ass kicked. Or rather, we are leapt on while we were asleep, standing up, and then it appears we had our throat slashed open. So that was lovely. Um, so... I was wrong about the stamina meter thing I was talking about, like the permanent stamina meter. I thought that's what it was, but apparently it's your blinks get longer as the night goes on and depending on how much you sprint. Now, of course, if you never sprint, you know, you're probably not going to make it into a lot of places in time. But... Um, you know, don't sprint too much or you'll fall asleep before the morning. Which, you know, leads me to another question. When the fuck does this kid sleep? I mean, he doesn't really look that young. He can't possibly just not, you know, he can't possibly just be like, fuck sleep. Sleep is for the weak, you know? Not even some, like, full-grown people can do that. I mean, a lot of them can, but... No one is available to take your call. Uh, shut Please up. Leave a message. I have to say, this game is... far creepier. Just kidding, man. Jacob. Uh, yeah, we're grabbing some beers across the street. Thought you might want to know. Uh, head out whenever you feel like it. We'll probably be there all night. No, my baby brother isn't a bit of a trifle. Well, what did I say? That night blight would get his. Now, as I've mentioned before, I have actually seen somebody play this game up to the end of Wednesday. Holy shit, he's on a string. Come on. All right, then. <clears throat> As you can hear, I'm far less enthusiastic about playing this this time. Main reason being is because I'm a little bit sick and, you know, horror games and being sick don't make the best combination. But 
I do like this game. What the hell was that? I haven't heard that sound before. Does that mean, was that breathing? Was that them breathing? Or is it the fridge? It's not the fridge. Probably means it's the garage. I had a dream about this game last night. No shit. Oh, it's, it's not the garage. What the hell was that then? Was that this room? But anyways, I had a dream about this. Holy shit, it is this room. So that means, uh, so anyways, yeah, I had a dream about this game last night, and, um, it was, uh, it was surreal. Oh, no. The game froze. Don't jump scare me at the end of this. Once a wardrobe is fully open, it cannot be closed. That's what that sound was. Um, what time is it? It's only two, we're fucked. Okay, um, yep. I'm just gonna start over. Cause, I, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I mean, if one of them is out, you know, yeah, it just if one of them is out already at that point, when it's only fucking two, that's it. I'm fucking screwed. So I need to keep a hell of a better watch on them. Them wardrobes. Sorry. Ugh, come on. Come the fuck on. All right. It's, uh... Anyways, the guy who I watched... What is this fucker's problem? Here we go. Anyways, the guy, the name of the YouTuber who I watch, who plays this game, his name is the Bate, or the Bate, Bate, Bate Jumping over furniture can be a great shortcut. Oh, thanks for telling me that right after I fucking did it. I know it's a shortcut if I do it. Anyways. It's the, what the hell happened? He just absorbed it. All right, well, anyways, yeah. Um, it's the, like the word the, if you get too tired, the blights can easily kill you. Am I seriously super tired already? Or is it just telling me that? Oh no. Holy shit. Yeah, no, I heard it. I fucking heard it already. Fuck you and your bullshit. Now see, the difference between, like... Okay, so there is a difference between this and a lot of horror games. Like, like Five Nights at Freddy's style games. I mean, uh, this isn't the same as Five Nights at Freddy's, certainly, because, I mean, you know, look at it. It's a free roam. You've got a lot of different... Oh, stop that. God, he's right in there. This is fucking creepy. But yeah, like, for example, I find this game far scarier than a game like Outlast. Which would seem strange, because in Outlast, you know, was that... Did one of them just open the fucking cupboards again? Oh my god, shut up. How does the kid have the endurance to do this? Like, when does he fucking sleep? Although he is a little kid, so it must be awesome for the parents. They're just like, yes, he takes naps for like he takes like an, an hour long nap every other hour. It's brilliant. We must be the best parents in the world. When really he's fighting off a horde of, you know, shadow gremlins. Okay. The, um. 
are you kidding? Right when I come down? Well, I'm bringing up this toy. You can need a Furby, motherfucker. <sighs> oh, jeez. Okay, I'm actually getting kind of tired. The worst part is that their eyes glow like that. Like, realistically, I don't think a kid would be able to do this. I think that, you know, he would go in, wake up his parents, they would call his bluff, and he'd get eaten alive. Huh. Alright. Not like that's a feature in pretty much every single game ever. I mean, you know, that was a feature in the, you know, new Super Mario Bros. Not even new Super Mario Bros, just in the, what was that? I heard a pop. Uh, whatever, maybe it was just my ears. Okay. You shall die. Yeah, see, if a kid saw that written in blood, especially a kid this age, I mean, unless this guy's like a midget or something, maybe he's the uncle. You don't know that. You know, maybe he's just like a midget or some shit. Oh, fuck. I keep thinking that poster back there is like, it's, it's a black silhouette of a guy. So I keep thinking that there's actually a guy there. And I'm just like, oh, fuck. Oh, nah, uh I saw him staring at me through the window. Okay, you can fuck off. Although I guess it wouldn't make sense for an uncle to have a baby brother that young. Although it's possible. I had a friend who had a... Uh, I, ha I had a friend who had an who was the uncle of somebody who was a year younger than him. So that was sort of weird. That looks very similar, like, similar to Elizabeth from Bioshock. But anyways, back to the point that I made, like, that I was making like 10 minutes ago or something like that. Um, is that, yeah, that's close. Anyways. Uh, with this game being scarier than Outlast, it, it, this game is scarier than Outlast, in my opinion. Outlast, to me, was only scary at the, at the jump scares. I mean, besides that, it wasn't really scary at all. Outlast was just, you know... Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hear my brother. Jesus. No, 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 no. Not today, you stupid fucker. No, he's really damn close. Because I don't know if they just, like, slowly go down halfway and then, like, drop down. That would suck. I, I don't know why he doesn't just cut himself off of that rope and make a go for it. It's kind of weird. But, um... Did I hear coughing? Maybe it was my parents. Who I'm quite surprised have not woken up yet. Okay. That one never seems to close. Maybe when you knock on it like that, it scares them into... Yep, good thing I was over here. Because I know that this haven't, ha hasn't come up in a while. Um... I never did make my point about that. So Outlast to me was just like, well, it was pretty much Half-Life 1, but with much better graphics and no weapons. That's how scary it was to me. What? Feed me is upstairs. I need to stop sprinting so much. I, I should really just reserve sprint mainly for the stairs. Because if you don't sprint on those stairs, it takes so damn long to get up them. Okay, I need to get more toys under the parents' bed. Oh, Jesus. You know, I didn't actually... Is this a toy I can... No. No, right, because that's like the jump scare fuel fucking hell. Okay, um... Is that... I'm just going to knock on it. Because I, I think that must be the case, because they don't seem to come out of there after I knock on it. Uh, 
or come out for a while after I knock. Wow, this dude has got fucking knees of steel. I think I heard my brother. Yep. What time is it? Six. Oh, we're super close. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god, that was close. And so were you. <sighs> the end of the game, I mean, the end of the nights are scarier than the actual jump scares themselves. Oh my god. Because it just comes out of nowhere, it's like... What the hell? Speaking of Outlast... <laughs> But anyways, yeah, I mean, what made, out, what made it so that Outlast wasn't scary, first of all, there was music, which makes it so that it doesn't feel like you're actually in the game. Yeah, no, I'm not, yeah, no, oh. oh, man, oh, that was too fucking close. We're running out of toys. Is there any in here? No? Okay, so, um... Oh, man. But, yeah, like, for example, in this... Oh, Jesus. In this game, there's almost no sound. There's no music. And the only sounds that there are... Holy fucking hell. Yeah, see, look at that. And the only sounds that there are are, you know, jump scares or creepy. All right then. I think that that'll do it for this episode, but I'll read the rhyme. Blights are unclean and revel in grime, so up from your toilet quite often they'll climb. Ah, I remember that. Give them a flush as quick as you can, else hiding round corners will be their great plan. Blights will come down your chimney, so keep the fire alight. Use the bellows uh, to be safe through the terror-filled night. For should the fire be left to weather and die, then come in the light, come in the night blades all creeping and sly. All right then. Is that the same deal? One, two, wait. One, two, oh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, what? I thought that I went to Sunday. Oh, oh man, this is, this is gonna suck. But yeah, like, see, I mean, the only music in this game is here, which I actually find quite nice. Um, but, uh, you know, without last, it's like, or even something like Slender, you know? Slender has music. Slender, just, you know, having a story in your game, in your horror game, makes it less scary, to me, anyways. Because when there's not a story, I feel like it's hell, you know? There's no story around these night blades. it just happened, you know? They just, they just, like, this dude doesn't know what the fuck is going on. He's just like, oh, you know, shadow gremlins are climbing out of my shitter, and trying to eat people. You know? Better keep them at bay. And he doesn't know what's happening. Whereas, you know, with something like Outlast, you're you're a reporter, you know that you're going to an insane asylum. You know, there's people that will talk to you often. You know, not necessarily sanely, but they'll still talk. Um, you know, in, what's it called? Uh, like Slender the Arrival or something, for example. That has a story, you know? You've got, like, little things that you can read about. But this is just, um, too subtle for my liking. <laughs> is there anything... Looks for tips, extra info. Yeah, I'm gonna check this on. Because this game is starting to get really fucking hard. <laughs> and I'm only on Tuesday. And it goes up to Friday. I, I thought that I went up to Sunday. Maybe it does go up to Sunday and there's a secret, but... Yeah. Anyways. 
thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video uh, then leave a like and subscribe to uh, see more videos that are like this one check out other videos on my channel and um Yeah, I guess that's about it. Have a good day. Don't let the fucking night blights bite. Lovely.